DNA, the molecule of heredity slash gene expression and regulation. Embark on an enlightening journey through the realm of DNA, where the secrets of heredity and gene expression unfold. This chapter will guide you through the intricacies of DNA, its discovery as the molecule of heredity, its complex structure, and the pivotal processes it undergoes in the cell. The journey of DNA began with groundbreaking experiments that established it as the fundamental molecule of heredity. In the 1940s, Avery, McLeod, and McCarty demonstrated that DNA, not proteins, was the key to transmitting genetic information. This was further solidified by Hershey and Chase's experiments with bacteriophages, which unequivocally proved that DNA, and not protein, was the genetic material. This marked the beginning of a new era in understanding life at its most fundamental level. DNA's structure, often likened to a magnificent spiral staircase, is a double helix formed by two strands of nucleotides. Each nucleotide consists of a sugar molecule, deoxyribose, a phosphate group, and a nitrogenous base. The sugar phosphate backbones act like the sides of a ladder, while pairs of nitrogenous bases, connected by hydrogen bonds, form the rungs. It's interesting to note that despite its complex role, DNA is so small that it is visible only with an electron microscope. The stability and functionality of DNA hinge on this structure. For instance, if a drug were to disrupt the hydrogen bonds in DNA, as might be explored in cancer treatments, it would break apart the two strands of the DNA molecule, affecting its normal function. This highlights the delicate balance within which DNA operates. The encoding of genetic information in DNA is akin to a biological Morse code, with the sequence of four nitrogenous bases, adenine, A, K, thymine, T, guanine, G, and cytosine, C, dictating life's instructions. This sequence is not arbitrary, it is a precise language that governs everything from hair color to the enzymes that regulate metabolism. DNA replication is a marvel of biological precision and efficiency. Enzymes like DNA helicase unzip the double helix, allowing DNA polymerase to add new nucleotides to each strand. This process ensures that each new cell inherits an exact copy of the DNA, a necessity for life to flourish and evolve. Mutations, changes in the DNA sequence, are the source of genetic diversity. They can be simple, like a single base alteration, point mutations, or more complex, involving insertions or deletions, frameshift mutations. These mutations can have various effects, from benign variations to significant impacts on an organism's physiology. The central dogma of molecular biology describes how the information in DNA is converted into proteins. During transcription in the nucleus, an enzyme called RNA polymerase crafts a strand of messenger RNA, mRNA, based on the DNA template. This mRNA then guides the synthesis of proteins during translation in the ribosomes, located in the cytoplasm. Here, transfer RNA, tRNA, molecules bring amino acids that correspond to the mRNA's codons, assembling them into a protein. This process is a fine example of how different genes are expressed in different tissues, explaining phenomena like the absence of hair on the tongue. DNA and RNA, while similar, have distinct roles. RNA, unlike DNA, is single-stranded and contains ribose and uracil, U, instead of thymine, T. Its various forms, including mRNA, rRNA, and tRNA, are instrumental in the protein synthesis process. In transcription, RNA polymerase unzips a portion of the DNA, synthesizing a complementary mRNA strand. During translation, this mRNA is read by ribosomes, and tRNA molecules bring the appropriate amino acids, forming a protein. This intricate dance of molecules is the physical manifestation of the genetic code. Mutations can profoundly affect protein synthesis. A mutation in a regulatory region can alter gene expression levels, affecting how much protein is produced. Similarly, mutations in coding regions can lead to altered or non-functional proteins, impacting an organism's traits or health. Gene expression is a tightly controlled process, ensuring proteins are produced at the right time and in the right amounts. This regulation is crucial for the proper functioning of cells and the organism as a whole. Homeostasis and the organization of the animal body. 
Let's take a fascinating journey into the world of animal bodies, focusing on the intricate workings that keep everything in balance. Think of your body as a city, constantly buzzing with activity, working tirelessly to maintain a stable, harmonious state. This balancing act is known as homeostasis. It's like having a thermostat in your body that's always adjusting to keep things just right, ensuring that internal conditions like temperature, pH, and glucose levels stay within a safe range. Now, when you dive deeper into this city, you'll find it's made up of buildings and structures of varying sizes and purposes. This is similar to how tissues, organs, and organ systems make up our bodies. Tissues are groups of similar cells that work together like a team. They come together to form organs, each like a specialized center with a unique role, such as the heart or liver. These organs collaborate within organ systems, each playing a crucial part in the symphony of bodily functions, much like different departments in a city working in harmony. Speaking of tissues, did you know there are four main types? There's epithelial tissue, which is like the body's wallpaper, lining organs and cavities and playing roles in protection, absorption, and filtration. Then there's connective tissue, the body's hardware store, providing support and structure with materials like bone and blood. Muscle tissue is like the city's motors, contracting to enable movement. And nervous tissue? That's the body's wiring, transmitting signals to coordinate activities. One organ that deserves a special mention is the skin. It's like the city's shield, the first line of defense against external threats. It's also the body's thermostat, regulating temperature, and a sensory canvas that keeps us in touch with the outside world. Imagine a complex structure with different layers, each having distinct functions that's our skin for you. Now, let's talk about the orchestra of organ systems in the human body. There's the circulatory system, like a city's transportation network, distributing nutrients and oxygen. The respiratory system is akin to a ventilation system, exchanging gases. And the digestive system? Think of it as the body's food processing plant, breaking down food and absorbing nutrients. Each system plays a vital role, working in concert to keep our bodies functioning smoothly. But how do all these parts communicate and work together so seamlessly? Well, cells in our bodies talk to each other through four primary mechanisms. Hormonal signaling is like sending out postal mail, with hormones traveling through the bloodstream to distant targets. Neuronal signaling is the body's version of instant messaging, where nerve cells transmit rapid signals. Paracrine signaling is similar to neighbors chatting over the fence, affecting nearby cells. And autocrine signaling is like talking to yourself, where cells respond to substances they release. Let's put this into perspective with some real-life examples. After you eat a big meal, like pizza and salad, your blood sugar levels go up. The pancreas steps in, sending out insulin like a traffic controller, directing excess sugar into cells and bringing things back to balance. This is homeostasis in action, like a city restoring order after a big event. And when you scratch a mosquito bite, you're triggering a positive feedback loop. Damaged cells release histamine, causing swelling, which can lead more cells to release histamine, escalating the response. It's like a small incident in a city that spirals into a larger event. So, through this journey, we've seen how the body works tirelessly to maintain balance, how its various components come together to form a functional whole, and how communication at the cellular level keeps everything running smoothly. Understanding the inner workings of our bodies, from homeostasis to the complex interplay of tissues and organ systems, is like peering into a microcosm of life, revealing the intricate balance and beauty of the biological world we inhabit.